BRT Sunway Line is an elevated bus line serving Sunway City in Subang Jaya Selangor, located 17 km southwest of Kuala Lumpur. With 5.4 km in length, this BRT line serving Sunway City and connecting the city to KTM City Jaya Station in the north and LRT USJ7 Station to the southwest. When the line opened in 2015, the passenger number was below the expected projection. Low passenger numbers are caused by numerous issues, high fare, accessibility and connectivity with commuter and LRT. Somehow the BRT line usage are increased by an unexpected saviour. And what is that saviour? Let's take a ride on an elevated bus line and understanding of the issues with BRT Sunway line and how it regained the passengers over the years. BRT is a short for Bus Rapid Transit, a transit system that runs by bus instead of train. Cost and expertise factors make transit system that run by bus is much more look appealing than system run by trains. Cities like Bogota, Jakarta and Mexico City built extensive BRT as it is cheaper to build, cheaper to run and simpler to operate than the train, train transit line. Often, BRT is chosen as a complement to existing uh, transit lines in suburban areas as the advantage as mentioned before. As a result, Sunway City with its advanced development and nearby commuter line and LRT Kelanajaya extension is an excellent location to test the novelty concept, the first in Malaysia. A transit system run with the rubber tires on an asphalt. Sunway Line uh, is chosen as the first BRT line in the country despite being planned as the third level priority, number one to Sunway Line. The line was constructed first as a proof of concept of future BRT lines that was planned to criss-crossing Kuala Lumpur and the surrounding suburbs. BRT Sunway Line serves Sunway City that is packed with offices, businesses and tourist attractions such as Sunway Pyramid and Sunway Lagoon. As you might imagine, tourist attraction, the traffic could turn worse on weekends and holidays. Mm -mm. Therefore, medium capacity transit such as BRT is suitable as a connector between Sunway City and existing transit lines of commuter and LRT Klan Jaya Line. Some parts are of the BRT line closely follows the former monorail that used to operate in the vicinity of Sunway Pyramid shopping mall. Sunway monorail used to operate some time between 2000 and 2003 when it was shut down due to high operation costs and low passenger number. In addition, the former uh, monorail uh, system is a standalone system which lacked any meaningful connection to the other transit networks. Today, part of the former monorail pillars are used as an elevated walkway. With financial commitment and expertise in construction by Sunway and expected reliability of bus rather than monorail, BRT Sunway line was constructed first among all the planned BRT lines. Construction began in 2013 and finished in 2015, the fastest transit project in Malaysia up to date. With 5.4 km in length, the BRT line uh, is fully elevated to bypass the traffic lights and numerous junctions along Jalan Lagoon Timur and Jalan Lagoon Selatan. The model used for BRT Sunway line is BYD K9 electric bus made in China. Electric bus not only makes the air free from the diesel smoke, the ride is so smooth and quiet. Okay, let's make a comparison with the diesel run Bangkok BRT, how it sounds. From a presentation slide uh, from the Ministry of Transport published in the year 2018, there is a data to show whether BRT uh, attract a lot of people or not. Let's leave the boring presentation for a while. BRT Sunway Line was officially opened on 2nd of June 2015, a week earlier than the schedule. Between June and July 2015, BRT recorded an, uh, an average of 12,000 daily passengers because it was uh, free at that time, uh, free for the public to try for the two months period. Here is the video I took during its early days of operation.
Just after the honeymoon period, which is the time that the free trial uh, ended on the 2nd of August 2015, the reality kicks in. How many people wrote the BRT on its earliest of its operation? Okay, let's look back at the presentation. Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, stop right there. Can you open up the uh, previous slide? Uh, yep, that one. Okay, this, uh, this part. The passenger number of BRT Sunway line plummeted uh, from uh, 12,000 in the free trial to about uh, 5,320 passengers per day in 2015, equal to about 305 passengers per hour, which is way below the, expect, uh, the expected 2,400 passengers per hour. Only 12.7% of the expected number. Um, so there are five issues that cause the number of passengers of uh, using BRT Sunway line are lower than expected. The first and foremost, number one, is the price. When the full revenue service was started on August 2015, the ride from one end to another, Sunway City Jaya Station to USJ7, cost five ringgit and forty cent, which is a ridiculously expensive by the Malaysian standard. As a comparison, riding LRT Klanijaya line from KL Central, the main railway station to KLCC, where the Twin Towers are, cost two ringgit and forty cents. Five kilometers distance and part of the LRT line is in underground, and this uh, fare is a standard adult fare for everyone uh, before the concession and before the discount, normal price. Number two is the connectivity issues. When BRT Sunway line was uh, first opened back in on June 2015, the only transfer is at Setia Jaya where commuter station is located. At that time, LRT Klana Jaya line extension uh, was not completed yet. Commuter frequency is 30 minutes, if you are lucky. Delays and cancellation are common. The blame is always due to weather, signal error, faulty train and other unexplainable mysteries. Wind direction. In addition, the never-ending track replacement project since 2014 uh, delayed the train even more, reducing the frequency sometimes up to one hour. Thus, most of the passengers using the BRT use USJ7 uh, station, uh, LRT station to transfer to uh, other transit lines when the LRT extension was finished later on uh, September to 2015. I talked in the previous video on why LRT Klanijaya line become the backbone of the Kuala Lumpur uh, transit system. The link is here or yeah, maybe it play here or here. You can just click uh, and watch later after you finish this video. Which brings to reason, not reason number three, but perhaps reason two A. The frequency of the BRT is actually influenced by the commuter and LRT frequencies since the BRT or uh, Sunway line is a kind of connector between these two lines. When the commuter frequency is 30 minutes and LRT frequency is 5 uh, every 5 uh, to 10 minutes, since USJ7 station is located outside Kuala Lumpur, outside the business uh, district, there is no point to make BRT more frequent, be frequent than that, that those two lines. The frequency of BRT is 4 minutes at peak hours and 8 minutes at off peak hours, weekends and holidays, which turns to number 3, lack of support by bus. Since city bus services is often unpunctual and stuck in traffic, it is unsurprising that a number of transit users drive to park and ride facilities to ride the, the transit, which proceed to number 4, number 4, impractical park and ride location, facility location. Somehow BRT Sunway line has an odd choice of where to put the park and ride. Other line except monorail since it's located in the middle of the city built park and ride on the fringes of the line, the suburban area where people drive from home to the station. BRT Sunway line park and ride located in the middle of the BRT line within the bus depot building. The bus depot is surrounded by buildings which presumably the exact destination of that BRT serve, universities, hospital business areas. If that's so, uh, why not just park directly to the destination instead of park, take the bus and yeah, walk just straight away by car. And number five is accessibility. BRT Sunway line stations are barrier free with lifts, tactile and adequate signage. But all the accessibility praise end at the station exit. Outside the BRT station, sometimes the pathways are narrow or non-existent at all. The walk bridge between Sunway Lagoon Station and Sunway Pyramid Shopping Mall has no lift, not even one lift. 
stairs make wheelchair baby strollers and luggage struggle to move outside the BRT station yes people uh, disabled uh, friendly infrastructure is useful for everyone in addition to the disabled uh, accessibility issues the lack of walkable path makes some places inaccessible to BRT despite its nearness example there is a vibrant commerce area right there and the only possible way to get there is walk next to the speeding cars down below or jump from the walk bridge as a result the number of passengers are low in the earliest of operation between 2015 and 2016 therefore the future of other BRT projects was started uh, to be questioned due to underwhelming BRT sunway line usage in the early years The exorbitant price and low passenger number raised a question about the sustainability of the BRT operation and the future BRT projects. One of the key BRT corridors between Kuala Lumpur and Klang that planned to run in the middle of the Federal Highway was cancelled despite 1 billion ringgit allocation. The official reason, the BRT line uh, runs in parallel with LRT3, the new LRT line from Bandar Utama to Klang City. Think of it, BRT Federal Highway will serve the places that neither connected by uh, new or old LRT lines nor commuter lines. For example, University Malaya Medical Center or PPUM, IDCC, Ideal Convention Center and ICT. Furthermore, the BRT Federal Highway will create transfers at University, Taman Jaya, Subang Jaya, Batu Tiga and including Setia Jaya, the terminus of BRT Sunway Line. Other BRT proposals such as route via Genting Klang to the northeast and Jalan Ampang to the east were also cancelled. With more than 600 million ringgit spent and lower passenger number than expected, could be BRT Sambi Line be safe from more financial losses? With the short route of 5.4 km, ridiculously high fare and inconvenient connection at Setia Jaya Station, BRT Sunway seems to be the next white elephant project if no action is taken. However, by looking at the data, the number of passengers jumped from 5,382 in 2016 to 7,234 in 2017, really low increase, to 11,000 26 in the year 2018 and keep increasing to 14,616 in the year 2019. What caused the number to increase almost 4,000 between 2017 and 2018? My 50 is the government subsidized monthly subscription of public transit within Klang Valley launched in 2018. At first, it's called My 30 and then increased 20 ringgit to My 50 since 1 January 2022. The scheme covers BRT Sunway Line, 2 MRT Lines, uh, 3 LRT Lines, Monorail and Rapid KL Buses. Uh, sorry KTM commuter users, this line is not included because a uh, different company. With 50 ringgit Malaysians can, can, could travel without limit within the transit system and also the Rapid KL Buses for one calendar month. BRT Sunway Line recorded 11,136 passengers daily average in the post-pandemic year in 2022 which is similar to the passenger number in BRT Bangkok. The underwhelming performance of BRT Bangkok which caused heavy financial loss made the later proposal of BRT throughout Bangkok and the neighboring provinces were cancelled. I made a video about it, uh, about the BRT Bangkok, the link is, uh, yeah, you can find yourself, it would appear somewhere, maybe here. By the latest data until February 2023, the daily passenger rate has returned to the pre-pandemic level of 14,515. Seamless connection with LRT and commuter lines with integrated fare make the trip with the BRT as convenient as riding other transit lines. Something that major cities with excellent public transit such as Singapore and Jakarta has figured out. Integration of transit line and fare structure is the key transit issue that Bangkok and Manila need to look into. The line might did not make uh, money in return but as a transit line might increase the real estate value uh, BRT encourage a new dense mixed development in Sunway City which gives the indirect return in the form of a higher land value appreciated development costs and the increase in taxes and duties collected furthermore electric buses on an elevated bus line cutting through the city is better than the six lane highway that emit noise and air pollution all the time cutting through a dense neighborhood. Meanwhile, other cities that seek a BRT as a transit solution might not 
adapt a fully elevated system like a BRT Sunway Line due to cost and accessibility. Iskandar Rapid Transit or IRT is a proposed BRT network serve Johor Bahru and the nearby cities of Iskandar Putri, Pasir Gudang and Kulai. Due to lower population density than the neighbouring Singapore, BRT is more suitable than MRT as the capacity and operation cost of BRT is lower. Proposed LRT lines in Kuching, Sarawak is planned to use uh, Autonomous Rapid Transit or ART. Call it a tram, autonomous tram or whatever. It is a practically a bus, a rubber tired bus on a road with a self-guided tracking system. Kind of a Tesla on autopilot, just longer and bigger. BRT Sunway Line went through a bumpy ride from a crowded free trial to almost empty station due to high fare to slowly fill up again after the interaction of My50 and the worsening traffic beneath. As a conclusion, BRT or any transit project should consider affordable fare and accessibility before even before the shovel hit the ground. Is BRT a good transit solution? You can comment down below. If you want to ride BRT Sunway Line, you can take the bus from any 7 stations throughout the line. USJ 7 station is integrated with LRT Kelana Jaya Line which connects BRT to the rest of transit network. While transfer via Setia Jaya commuter station need a separate ticket. You need to tap in and tap out. It is possible to use the same touch and go card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about the BRT Sunway Line wide understanding of why transit should be both accessible and affordable. Thank you so much again and see you in the next video.